Hi, I am Lucy, and I'm a web design and development instructor at IDT. Today, I'd like to walk you through the process of creating a sitemap. First, a sitemap is a visual diagram of a website's pages and hierarchy. When you create one during the planning stage of the web design process, it helps you determine the site's navigation. The sitemap also serves as a directory for users to find what they're looking for. A sitemap is very important because it helps search engine bots find pages in the site, and it also gives you a quick visual representation of all the pages within the site. And most importantly, it serves as the basis of the rest of your project. So today I shall introduce an idea box to you. Um, basically an idea box is an informal way to gather your ideas for developing your site. When you're working with your team, it's a good alternative to a traditional questionnaire. So um, anyway, I'm developing this idea box for the Petit Déjeuner restaurant. This is a French breakfast type of restaurant. So um, in the first row, I'm going to put the options for my main navigation. And then underneath, I will put ideas for the subcategories. It could be interior pages, or it could, it could simply be uh, ideas that you want to consider for those pages. So since we have a, a French type of restaurant, we definitely want to have the menu. Next, we can have an About Us section. And then perhaps some services. And other, we could kind of put some general kind of ideas in there. And then Customer Account. Because I think I want to let my, uh, my customers have the option of doing some online ordering. Um, but anyway, once you, you have established your main topics, then you want to fill in the subcategories. So underneath menu, I want to have hot drinks, and then iced drinks, and pastries. You can't have a coffee without a pastry. Uh, crepe, omelets, and some monthly specials. We don't want to keep having the same thing all the time, so we could keep it interesting. Um, about us, you can provide some directions to the establishment. Um, some contact information, email, phone, things like that. The hours of operation. And uh, since a lot of people like to connect to businesses with their Facebook or Twitter or other kinds of social, social media websites, we can include a Facebook page, well, a link to the Facebook page, and then also Twitter. Those are the, the two big ones right now. In the services section, we could have some catering. Perhaps there's big parties or birthdays, corporate events. And um, like I mentioned before, I want to give customers uh, the, the option to do some online ordering. Um, I can't think of any other services right now, but I can always add to it later. In the other section, I want to make sure I cover some uh, legal aspects, so I'll just put terms and conditions. I want to include a site map, and also nutrition info. A lot of people want to, you know, be, take care of how, uh, how much sugar or, or whatever uh, nutrition um, options. Um, also, I want to provide some student discounts. I think that would be a good way to get people in the door. And then also put some senior discounts. And then for the customer account section, we could probably just put um, a, a link called My Account in the corner for those who already have an account. Uh, of course, a big sign-in button. Um, order status, so you can check on the status of, uh, of the food that you've ordered. Um, an option to register. And then an FAQ section. So these are the ideas that I have right now. I can always change, uh, add, delete as I want but uh, this gives you a good basis for the rest of your project. So now I am ready to create a flowchart. Basically, I will take the topics that I incorporated in my idea box, and I will start building out the hierarchy of the website. But anyway, for this example, we shall start with Word. And you want to, you want to go into the Smart Art section and choose Hierarchy. 
And um, for this sample, I will choose this first option. I can always change it later, but I'll start with this one. And you always want to start with your home page. And you can, you, can, you can keep clicking within the boxes here, but I think it's easier to actually use this option. Look at this little icon in the corner. This gives you the opportunity to use the uh, bulleted list. So I think I'll just go ahead and pursue this one. Um, now, if you recall, there were five main subjects in the idea box. The first one was menu. Second was about us. Next is services. Let me just quick fix this little guy over here. Uh, next is other. So as you can see, it's pretty simple to uh, develop your subcategory pages. And you want to do this for each category until you encompass all of the pages that will be included in the site. So uh, I'm just going to keep working on this, and then we can flash forward to the final version. So this is the final version of my flowchart. As you can see, I've developed all my pages. I have all the different ice drinks that I want to include on my menu, different pastries, crepe, omelets. Uh, I'll, I, can, I can develop monthly specials later, but I just wanted to make sure I have the, my main menu uh, created. Also for the About Us section, I have all the things that were included in the idea box. Catering, online ordering under services, nutrition info, site map, terms and conditions under other, and then all the options under my account. And you can always, you, you know, similar to the idea box, you can keep developing this until you feel that you have all the uh, relevant pages represented. Um, but anyway, this again shows you the relationship of all the pages within the site and also gives you an idea of how uh, big the project is. Once you complete the site map, you'll be ready for the next step of the web design process, which is creating wireframes. Thanks for joining me, and don't forget to check out my next video to learn how to make wireframes for your website.